Okay, in this question, we have a population of students, and there are two characteristics associated with each student. They are taking or not taking history, and taking or not taking statistics. As such, we can solve this question using the double matrix method. So let's reserve the top row for students who are taking history, and reserve the bottom row for students who are not taking history. Next, we'll reserve the left-hand column for students who are taking statistics, and reserve the right-hand column for students who are not taking statistics. Now, our goal here is to find the number of students who are taking history, but not statistics. Since this box is reserved for students who are taking history, but not statistics, we'll place a star here to remind us that our goal is to find the number of students in this box. Okay, now let's add the given information to our matrix. First, we're told that there are 90 students altogether, so let's add that information here. Next, we're told that 36 students are taking history. Since these two boxes are reserved for students who are taking history, we know that the sum of these two boxes must be 36. Now, if 36 of the 90 students are taking history, we can conclude that the remaining 54 students are not taking history. So the sum of these two boxes must be 54. Next, we're told that 32 students are taking statistics. Since these two boxes are reserved for students taking statistics, we know that the sum of these two boxes must be 32. We also know that if 32 of the 90 students are taking statistics, then the remaining 58 students are not taking statistics. So the sum of these two boxes must be 58. At this point, we have one last piece of information. 59 students are taking history, or statistics, or both. Now how can we add this to our diagram? Well, since these boxes are reserved for students taking history, and these boxes are reserved for students taking statistics, then these three boxes are reserved for students taking history, statistics, or both. Now if there is a total of 59 students in these three boxes, then the remaining 31 students must be in this box. This should make sense to us. If a student is not included in the students taking history or statistics or both, then that student must be taking neither history nor statistics. So as we can see, there must be 31 students in this box. At this point, we're almost done. Since these two boxes must add to 58, we know that this box must contain 27 students, which means the answer here is D.